Hi, Isabella. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, you're sitting on my well-made bed and want to be petted. You're a neat kitty, 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 kitty. Yes, you are. You're a neat kitty. Yeah. You got a real good close-up of your face. Hi, kitty. How are you? Hi, YouTube fans. This is Matt of Post-April 6th YouTube channel. Well, before it becomes uh, sundown, I thought I would do a nice vlog. Um, effective today, it has been 366 days since I formed my YouTube channel, Post-April 6th. And what happened was, I've mentioned this before, but I'll say this again in case this is a first time viewer of my YouTube channel. Um, I um, first started a Gmail account named called Post April 6th, and then I proceeded to form a YouTube channel called Post April 6th. And somewhere between March, no, excuse me, May 11th and 29th. Hold on a second, I'm going to verify something really. Okay, what the date I'm referring to is, is May 25th. So it was either May 24th or May 25th. What I did was I logged into the uh, studio part of the app and I did what's called changing the handle. What's your handle? Kind of like with the CB uh, radio uh, people would do. Okay. And um, I did a vlog on the 25th. And it was a 15 second vlog that I did while I was on the lunch break at Doodles and Company. Um, and the other thing that I have done was that I um, had yesterday off and I tell you, I slept in late, late. This was, uh, let's see, I did the anniversary vlog it was April 28th, but it wasn't midday, average daytime. It was somewhere between uh, 12 a.m. and 1.30 a.m. I did the vlog. And um, then what I did was, after I got done... Um, filming that. I slept in until 1.30. No, actually about 12, somewhere between 12.50 and 1, 1 p.m. I don't, I, forget, I don't remember the exact time verbatim. And I woke up and um, I think I might have done things uh, a little different. Meaning I took a shower, then I made breakfast instead of the other way around. And um, then what I did was I made breakfast and um, in fact, come to think of it, actually what I really did was I made breakfast and I ate it. Then I, I took a shower and I made sure to do that right away. And um, the other thing that I did oh, I tried to call a few friends of mine and um, then what I did was um, I got some other personal matters taken care of. And then w what I did later on was I, um, I, f I put in some uh, tags on some shorts, short videos that I did later on after this, the, first, the very first video I did, which was 15 seconds. 
and then I uh, edited my video and I saved it and then I uploaded it and um, then after that I watched uh, some things on YouTube that were pretty informa informative type stuff and then what I did Sorry, I'm trying to keep this in, in, in people's eye view. There we go. And then what I did was I, um, I um, did the dishes. And right after I did the dishes, uh, one of the pipes to my sink came loose. It's the water pressure did it. And then um, I took everything out from underneath my, my kitchen sink, that, you know, the cabinet that is under most kitchen sinks. And I, and I, I uh, used the mop to kind of squeegee out the water. And then I mopped up the water and I kept mopping and mopping and mopping and mopping and mopping, and mopping until the, it, it, it was, it, it, it's a sponge squeegee mop. And the and the the sponge is pretty much worn out. It's totally had it. It needs to be replaced. So I went into my uh, bathroom and I got the nice bathroom towel, you know, a regular size. It's almost the size of a beach towel. And I proceeded to use that as a as a mop. And I tightened up the the plumbing one more time to make sure. And then I ringed everything out, and I, I also rang out the, uh, rinsed out and rang out the, the, the kitchen towel. And I just let it, uh, I spread it out in the bathtub as a way of letting it dry. I didn't want to put it on the curtain rod because I could put uh, weight on the curtain rod and could wear it out. So then what I did was, is I, uh, I cleaned the microwave. And believe me, the microwave, I've already done a video about this before, but the microwave was really getting icky. And I took out the, 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 the carousel uh, glass plate, and I rinsed it out first, and then I took out the... Uh, thing that is circular like this that acts as a uh, lazy Susan uh, type of uh, of uh, uh, wheels and um, you know guidance wheels I guess and I I, I, I used some, some L.A. Totally Awesome degreaser and I just cleaned that thoroughly. And I cleaned the outside and I cleaned the top of it. <clears throat> and then after that, what I did was I come into the living room and I um, look at my... Um, I, look at my I, I decide which pipe I want to smoke because I was really worn out. I was totally drained. I needed to rest. I was drained and a little bit frustrated because that was a that was really a lot of hard work. And I smoked my pipe and then I watched um, a little more TV and then what I did was I popped in one of my DVDs and I watched part of it. It's a part of the movie I just love to see. And then soon after that, I got into my pajamas and I cleaned out my CPAP. I, I replaced the, the large mask on my CPAP kit and uh, I filled up the water tank. I rinsed it out first, then I filled it up actually. And then um, I took a melatonin so I could get to sleep quickly. And I slept until about uh, a little after 11 o'clock and then I got up and started getting going. And the, the, the one thing that I did before I, um,
before I actually cooked my breakfast was I cleaned out the kitchen sink. I scrubbed it with some good Comet, uh, uh, you know, bleach pumice stuff. And there was a lot of grime I got out of there. And then I took out the pots and pans and I started to make breakfast. And then what I did was, is, um, I did, I made a few phone calls and, um, I started to, uh, get showered and shaved and then I, and then I proceeded to, uh, make some phone calls about a project I might get involved in, which I cannot discuss right now. It's nothing good, it's nothing bad, it's just, I better not talk about it until I do it. If I decide to do it at all, that is. And then after I made <clears throat> quite a bit of phone calls, I um, I went into the kitchen and I made, uh, excuse me a second, and then I made um, some chili dogs. And then after that, uh, I wrote a couple of letters concerning some personal stuff I always got to take care of. And I watched uh, Archie Bunker's Place, which was a successor to All in the Family, after Edith suddenly died. I mean, in real life she didn't die, but in the, movie, in, in, in the TV series she died. Um, I think there were some personal things where she was just getting tired of it and wanted to move on to other things. I think that had something to do with why they, I don't like to use these words, killed off the character, Edith Bunker. Yeah. Okay. So um, then what I did was I left the house to get to the, the post office on time so that my letters would go out in today's mail. And after I was done at the post office, I walked to the nearest RTD stop that I needed to get to, to go to this location. Gasomat, smoker friendly, and the smoker's lounge. And what I bought was some things that I needed, which were some pipe cleaners, and um, some, and and a couple of those little Villager cigars. Yep. And I also bought that thing of bottled water I just showed, showed. And then what I did was, is after I paid for it, I immediately proceeded to leave so that I could catch the <clears throat> the bus that would get me back here. And um, then when I got home, I said, okay, I've got a stack of junk mail i got to get rid of. So I sorted through the um, ironing board, which acts as a place that I put letters I get in the mail, unless it's something I really, I'm like, you know, kind of like a kid at Christmas type feeling because I really want to see it. And I open it up right away and I'm like, yeah, cool, great. I, I shredded all the junk mail and um, then um, I was going to put away the laundry which I'll still do that but the kitty came out from underneath the bed in a really cute way but then she comes out all the way the other direction and I was like oh that ruined it but I thought well hey I'll have some fun I'll film her coming out from under the bed and, and I'll pet her and be really nice to her. And here she is. Here she is again. She's leaning up against my pile of clothes and she just woke up from a nap. Oh, and now she's going back into a nap. Sweet dreams, kitty. Go back, go ahead and go back into your nap. So, um, as much as I would like to con continue to talk, to you guys. I got I got some other things to do and a good friend of mine is going to be calling me 
uh, from Wyoming, and he and I talked for quite a while. So um, I really better end the vlog now, but things will continue to grow one way or the other, and I hope everybody has a good life and a good day and a good evening. Thank you and goodbye.